Hola, Ruth. Uh, how are you this morning? Well, I'm chilly, but everything <laughs> here on the table looks absolutely fabulous. Tell me about where we are. Well, we are here in the north of the city, uh, of Mexico City. This is Delegación Azcapotzalco. And we are in a third generation business of Barbacoa, the Alvarez family. This place is known as Barbacoa El Calandrio. We are going to see how they are uh, opening the oven that has been previously set the night before with all this uh, lamb meat. This is a very traditional uh, dish from the state of Hidalgo. And in Mexico City, it's one of the favorites uh, of the people that they come very early in the morning to enjoy it. And the connoisseurs, they like to come right at the moment of the opening of the oven because that's the perfect timing where you can really uh, enjoy and witness all the action. The whole uh, lamb meat has to be prepared uh, the night before. Uh, and basically, it is steam. They set a firewood bed at the bottom of this brick uh, oven, uh, and they have to uh, uh, lightly uh, cure the meat before they set it inside the oven. And uh, they use uh, different grits in order to set, at the first moment, the whole meat, and then above the, the, that grill with the meat, it would be a big container uh, to catch all the, the, the broth from the, from the lamb meat. And that is called consomme, and is one of the hangover remedies uh, that we Mexicans, we, we love to, to enjoy. We can see it here in the consomme root. It has rice, chickpeas, onion, uh, uh, carrot as well, and epazote, which is a wild green. Uh, from Mexico. This is what we're supposed to put in our soup. A little onion. I like that onion. A little coriander. That is correct. Oh, look at it. And then a little lime. Mmm. Mm. Oh, that's delicious. That is really lovely. And this is all This the is called broth. the broth or consomme de barbacoa. Um, and this is just one of the products that we obtain from this pit on the ground, that uh, it is covered uh, with earth and also more of these maguey, maguey packs, which uh, um, all the container with the meat, it is wrapped with the penca de maguey, so it gives a special flavor to the meat. And um, it is important to say that the whole uh, tender lamb is going to be prepared. In the Mexican cuisine, we waste nothing. So uh, we have used the, the tribes um, wrap oh, in the stomach. This is like the pancita. Mexican haggis. Oh, I see. Stomach mm -hmm. that's stuffed with tripe. That's correct. And there are two kinds, though. He said there's a red seasoned with guajillo. This is guajillo uh, chile. And this has habanero uh, and, um, manzano. and manzano chile. And this one he called a white. We call this pancita blanca, and this is pancita roja. And then, as he was mentioning, this is almost a whole uh, rib and a back piece of a small, because the lambs are only eight months old. It has to be a tender lamb, yeah. It has to be a tender mm -hmm. lamb. And then it's 14 hours worth of cooking, slow, even cooking wrapped in the magalies, and then we have a cactus, avocado, and the avocado still has the skin on, so you have to yep. peel the, the avocado skin off. Some um, queso... This panela, is queso panela. Mm -hmm. Which is a lovely white cheese, and chile de... This is chile de arbol. Oh, lovely. Mm -hmm. And, the, and the, the cactus leaf that we call nopales, mm -hmm. that, you know, this is um, so delicious when you use have in a taco. And many people love to add and condiment the, the taco or barbacoa meat with everything of this no, put together. I see that we have chili sauces on the table as well. This one's a green one. It looks like a fresh tomatillo with jalapeño or serrano? I, dis, I think this is serrano, it's garlic, a onion, mm -hmm, and that's it. And it's a fresh sauce, which has never been cooked. But the highlight of uh, the barbacoa, every uh, place of barbacoa must have this, which is the salsa borracha or drunken salsa. Look at that. That has so much in it. And what makes it a drunk salsa? Uh, the fact that it is uh, elaborated with pulque. Do you know it's the nectar of the god, this fermented 
alcohol drink from agave sap. Uh, and this is combined uh, with different chiles, cuaresmeño, and a little bit of morita that has to be lightly kind of uh, uh, roasted on, on the comal for a little bit. And orange juice, that's part of the secret of the family. And this is, this is also very good. We have to, pe to mention the, the papalo, guys. This is a papalo quelite. It's a, basically, it's a wild green, very Mexican, that grows among the cornfields. And the name is pre-Hispanic. It comes from Nahuatl. The word papalo, it means butterfly. Oh, yeah. So the shape of the, of the leaves, as you can see, they remind like a flying butterfly. That's why it is called this kind of papalocalite. And in, in the countryside, they love this, this wild because it helps the digestion. It has a very strong aroma. I can yeah, smell when, it once you when you break it, uh, the idea is to put it raw right there on your taco. When you are eating it and it breaks, there is a, a wonderful, mm -hmm. wonderful yeah, aroma yeah. That, that widespread. So this helps digestion and it's very common to see it in the late night taco scenes, no? Um, well, we have to mention that we're here and it's 8 a.m. in the morning. That's correct, we, we forget to say that. <laughs> and we have already seen so many people coming in and buying enormous amounts yeah. of this barbacoa. When and we just arrived, uh, we just saw a, a woman. He was, uh, she was coming with, uh, with her entire family and they were buying a lot of kilos of barbacoa to take them to Cancun, but you know it's in, take them to Cancun. It was going to go to Cancun, yeah, because over there, uh, I mean, it's, you cannot find this kind of, of dish. No. Bon appetit, Ruth. Bon appetit.